What's up guys, this is Peace and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install RetroArch on your Nintendo 2DS or 3DS. And what RetroArch is, it's basically um, a front end for a bunch of different cores, which are basically emulators. Um, so you can get a bunch of different emulators by installing RetroArch. Unfortunately, I have an old 2DS and there's not going to be a lot of emulators that are actually going to run well. However, if you have a new 3DS, um, you're going to be able to run a lot more systems. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to test those for you guys because I have an old 2DS. Nevertheless, RetroArch is still going to be a very useful to have because of all the systems that allows you to emulate. A lot of them don't, which don't even have native emulators for the 3DS. Um, so yeah. Anyway, of course, you're going to need a modded a 3DS to do this. Uh, so I have a video on that. Go check that out. But once you have that, uh, just go ahead and take your SD card out, put it into your computer, and I'll show you guys what to do next from there. All right, now, before we begin, I just want to show you what the what systems of RetroArch actually supports. So it supports all these systems. We got 2048, Final Burn Alpha, we got Genesis Plus GS, these are all the cores by the way. Uh, we got MGBA, Nestopia, uh, Quick NES. So these are all the cores um, that are on RetroArch. But as you can see, using um, right here, using current exploits, the new 3DS is capable of running most of these cores at or nearly at full speed on most games. The only cores, the only older 3DS, however, can reliably run at full speed are uh, 2048, uh, Gambate, Quick NES, NX Engine, and some older Sega games using, using Pika Drive. Um, so yeah, as you can see with the old, unfortunately I have an old 2DS, um, so I'm not going to be able to take full advantage. However, if you have a new 3DS, RetroArch will be perfect for you because there's so many systems. Uh, like I said, you know, most of these are you're going to be able to emulate, however you're on the older 2DS, not really be emulate. And there's also some unofficial ports um, that had more emulators if you're interested in that, but we're not going to be doing that. Um, so yeah, so just thought you know, I'd let you know about that. Um, but so first, we're going to need to go to RetroArch.com um, right here. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the download. All right. And then we're going to go all the way down. As you can see, RetroArch supports tons of different systems and whatnot. Uh, but we want to go down until we see the 3DS slash 2DS family. And we're going to go ahead and download the CIA. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and save that over here. It's going to be in a 7-zip file, so make sure you have either um, WinRAR or 7-zip to be able to open it. All right, but just go ahead and save that right there. All right, once it's finished downloading, uh, we can then go ahead and find it. All right, so here it is right here. So let's just go ahead and extract to its own folder. Go ahead and wait for that. Okay, it's done. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and um, drag the RetroArch folder to the root of the SD card. Now we're just going to go ahead and drag over the RetroArch underscore 3ds.cia over to the CIA's folder. All right, there it is right there. And uh, and now we just need to add our games. Um, all right, so I'm just going to make a uh, folder called ROMs right here. Let's see, ROMs. And in that folder, I'm just going to create a folder called NES, and I'm going to create a folder called Gen, all right? And then uh, I, I'm just going to go over here, and as you can see, we have an NES game, um, which it said this one would, would run at full speed. And then we also have a Genesis game. Hopefully this will run pretty well. Uh, all right, uh, but yeah. After that, um, you're pretty much done, so go ahead and uh, take your SD card out of your uh, computer and I'll show you guys what to do next from there. Alright, now um, once you put your, your SD card into your 2DS, go ahead and turn it on. 
All right, now that our 2 ds is on, we're gonna go, want to go ahead and navigate over to the FBI menu. All right, then we're gonna want to go to the SD card, go over to CIAs, and then find our RetroArch CIA and install and delete it. Go ahead and do a yes. Let's go ahead and wait for that. Once that's done, go ahead and press any button. All right, we're going to go ahead and go back. And this time we're going to go ahead and go to the RetroArch folder and install the cores that we want to use. All right, so the core I'm going to be using is Quickness for my NES game and Genesis Plus GX for my Genesis game. So here we go, Genesis Plus GX. But this time we're not going to delete it, we're just going to install it. All right, so don't delete it, just install it norm like normally. And let's go ahead and wait for that. Alright, that's done. And next, we're going to go to Quick NES. Oh, missed it right there. And install that as well. Alright, now that we're done, just go ahead and press the back button. Alright, then press start to exit. Alright, we have new software. Okay. And as you can see, we have our RetroArch right here. Our Genesis core and our quick NES core. All right, let's go ahead and open RetroArch. Might take a while for it to load, just give it time. All right, now we're in RetroArch, okay? So now we're gonna go to load core. And now we're going to go all the way down to, um, let's see, Quick NES. I'm going to go ahead and load that. All right, let's go ahead and wait again. All right, now we're going to go to load content. Right, we're gonna go to uh, this right here. I'm gonna go to RetroArt, wait, no, or to our ROMs folder. Go to NES and go to Super Mario Bros. And uh, with Quick NES. All right, and now we are finally in the game. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and play some. All right, and as you can see, the game is 100% working here. All right, let's just go ahead and uh, close this out. All right. Now this time, let's try to load. Um, all right, Sega Genesis, Genesis Plus GX. Let's load that. All right, and then let's go ahead and find our game again. Sonic the Hedgehog. All right. Ah, oh, looks like it's not going to be running very well on my old 2DS. I'm sure it would run full speed on the new 3DS, but uh, yeah, it looks like we're yeah, it's pretty choppy here. Maybe if we tried the other. Uh, core. Alright, looks like you can attach the screen at the bottom to uh, open up this menu here. I probably should have, should have done that earlier. Uh, yeah, but let's try the other other core. It might take a bit for it to download, but... Uh... Alright, 
There's different options here. You can save and load your state. Um, change the controls. All right, let's try to load um, the other core. Maybe it'll run better. Um, see, Pico Pico Drive. Now it's gonna have to install the uh, the CIA um, because we didn't install it, so it might take a bit longer. It right, looks like it was able to load the core, and uh, yeah, um, the fact. The faster your SD card, this process should be a lot quicker. But yeah, that game was not running very well um, with the uh, Genesis core. So hopefully the Pico core will be better. And of course, like I said, if you have a new 3DS, all of these will probably work fine. It's just that, you know, on an older one, um, just doesn't have the, the, the power to quite... Uh, cut it for a lot of these uh, different things uh, okay so let's let's try again with a different core and hopefully it will run better um, if not we'll just have to live with it all right let's see how it runs yeah like I was uh, reading um, only very few systems actually run good on the old 2ds so I mean, there are going to be individual emulators, um, standalone emulators, um, so I'll make videos on those that hopefully will run better. Uh, but yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is way better. This is way better. Alright, so I guess if you're uh, trying to play Sega Genesis games, Pico Drive is the core, Genesis plus GX, not converting very well. Oh, okay, yeah, this is way better. Alright. All right, there you go. Okay, okay, yeah. So Pico Drive definitely the preferred core um, over Genesis Plus GX for sure. All right, this is actually pretty smooth. This is definitely very playable. All right. Anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Um, yeah, basically just do the same thing for any any other game you want. You are you, you saw the list I showed it earlier. There's tons of different systems. Um, but yeah, um, unfortunately on on uh, uh, the older 3DS models, you're not gonna get as much uh, functionality as with the newer systems, which you can even emulate up to like PlayStation, which is kind of crazy. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And peace.